New York is known for being a miserable city. A dirty, sad, crowded island where people are constantly bumping into you. Excuse me, do you mind? Oh, it's me. But in reality, New York is actually ranked 15th as the happiest state when it comes to tweets. I know, it's weird that we're using Twitter to measure our moods. But actually, it makes sense. Hashtag logical. Twitter also compiled a list of happiest areas in New York using keywords tweeted from each location. Happy words included sun, restaurant, yoga, delicious, coffee, cafe, and spa. And then there are the unhappy words. Those keywords consisted of hell, hate, lie, bored, never, can't, nothing, don't, and Baldwin. And the list is actually surprising, with the most miserable areas in New York consisting of the Bronx, Washington Heights, Chelsea, Queens, Brooklyn. They're not sad. They're artistic. And the happiest area is consisting of the Upper West Side, Wall Street, Williamsburg. They're not happy. They're artistic. And in the end, the undisputed happiest area in all of New York is... Times Square. Of course, the one area without any New Yorkers. All right, so honestly, I don't like Times Square. Chances are you don't like Times Square, but this survey got me thinking. If I look at Times Square from a tourist perspective, maybe I can find the positive aspects in it. So today, I'm gonna try. Hard. Sometimes the world looks perfect. Nothing to rearrange. Sometimes you just get a feeling like you need some kind of change. No matter what the odds are this time, nothing's gonna stand in my way. It's flaming my heart like a long lost friend. Gives every Whether you're in Times Square to enjoy its fresh squeezed juices, true Italian cuisine, or to hang out with Rick Moranis, I kind of understand why people love it so much. Besides, where else can you spontaneously meet so many friends? From England. Standing.